Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can charge your Tesla vehicle most effectively when you're camping. So a lot of modern campsites are gonna have either 50 and or 30 amp power that you can utilize to charge your Tesla vehicle. I'm gonna go over the adapters that you're gonna to wanna to use with your Tesla mobile connector charger. And I'll have links to these adapters down in the description. So starting off, if you have a 50 amp service at your campsite, you're gonna to wanna to use one of these 50 amp adapter plugs. This is a NEMA 14-50. You can get these right from the Tesla shop. I'll post a link down in the description, but we can take our mobile charger and pop out the standard plug that comes with it. And then we can take this one and slide it right in there. And with this, if you have a Model Y or a Model 3, you should get around 30 miles of charge per hour with this option. If you have a Model S or X, it's gonna be more around 20 to 25 miles per hour of charge. And that's gonna be your best case scenario, having that 50 amp service. Now, if you're at a site that only has 30 amp service, you can get one of these adapters that's going to plug in one side to this NEMA 14-50. Whereas the other end, you can plug in it to a 30 amp outlet, and this is a TT-30P. One note I wanted to add into this video is if you're daisy chaining this to go from the 50 amp to the 30 amp when charging, it is important to note that you wanna set your max charge rate to 24 amps or below when using this adapter. And the reason you wanna do this is because since you're connected to the NEMA 1450, your car could treat this like you're connected to a 50 amp connection with 40 amps of top charging rate. And in any case, if you're at or above 30 amps that you're set for charging below the breaker, and it's recommended for continuous charging to be at 80% or below of the top rated capacity. So 80% of 30 amps is gonna be 24 amps. So you should set it at 24 amps or below as a safety precaution when using this daisy chained system to plug in to a 30 amp. And as a quick refresher, we can change these charging amps by opening up the Tesla app. And right here from the homepage, we have our amps. Make sure you set this number at or below 24 amps if you're hooked up in this manner. Now, Tesla doesn't have this particular plug type to go in to your mobile connector. I got this adapter on Amazon that basically daisy chains from the 50 amp plug to a 30 amp plug option. So what we do is we take this, plug this side in, and then this end is gonna plug in to that 30 amp service. And it's not gonna charge as fast, obviously, as if you're using 50 amp service. You can expect more to about two to three times the charging speed as if you were just using a standard 120 volt plug to charge your vehicle. Now for me with the campsites around my area, I actually prefer just picking the sites that only have 30 amp service because they're cheaper than the sites that have the 50 amp service. And then I can just use one of these adapters to charge my vehicle and getting that two to three times the charge speed of what I would just get with a standard 120 volt charging cord is still pretty nice and more than enough charge for what I need. So again, I'll post an Amazon link for this adapter so that you can daisy chain it with the 50 amp charger to power up your vehicle if you're at a 30 amp service campsite. And there's some good options on Amazon. These adapters are usually less than 20 bucks. And then this particular adapter, the NEMA, 14-50 can be purchased right on Tesla's website. And like I said, I'll have a link posted down to that as well. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful going over how you can charge at a campsite, whether you have 50 or 30 amp service. And even if you don't have those more powerful options at your campsite, if it has any kind of electricity, using just the standard 120 volt connector that comes with your mobile charger. It's still better than nothing and should yield you around four to five miles per hour of charge. So you can always use that as an option. So that'll wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.